Yo, what is up, you guys? Listen, so, Marriage to Medicine came back on tonight, and tomorrow we will be doing a recap on the entire episode, but I wa- what I wanted to come on here to talk about is the fight that happened yet again in Phaedra's life. So, as y'all know, Phaedra has been doing Instagram lives every single episode since the season began, where she invites different women so they can react to the show as it's airing and then have some final thoughts after it is done. And the first time that things got out of control was when Quad was there. Uh, I think it was like a month or two ago. And remember she got into it with Jackie. She got into it with Heavenly. And Phaedra was told to cut it because it was getting too heated. Well, the same thing happened tonight. Things got way too heated with Sweet Tea and Dr. Heavenly. They started fighting about age, who's older, who's this, who's that, about relationships. So it looks like the little makeup that they had in the show didn't last very long because they're back at it so here is the entire fight that happened tonight on instagram live take a look wait a minute i'm in the bed listening i look a mess but that's all right i heard somebody say something about me somebody said something about me grandma (laughs) mama who married to their granddaddy you Older. I can 
can have kids. What you want? Let's you're see. So, you're so ignorant, and you put on a white coat every fucking day, and don't know in what the fact, fuck. I've done it three times. Let me it. help you. Oh, you are dumb. Dumb. To me, you are already you just, you just you dumb. Dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. And you don't You don't anything. You dumb. You dumb. And you put on a white coat. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. Well, all the little boys talk to me up there. Girls, leave me alone. Please, please, you put that in teaching the young women. You you put that in teaching. You competing, bitch. Listen. You compete and you can never. Listen. You can never. Listen, don't worry about that man you got because I go heard he called a squad, bitch. Go back to I heard he called a squad. You might want to go you check on You need it. You okay. might want to go, go check on Okay, okay, okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, 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 y'all. Okay, 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 right now. You probably on the phone with him right now. You do need it. This is going to all the way for you. And if you make a call, let me call the squad up. No, no, come on. I'm going to call the up. I don't give a back to the I really need Can y'all be quiet? Okay. Be quiet. Exactly. Now, you, you, you just got get two sentences in the show. You just got two sentences. Oh, don't, don't come up with me, No, 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 no. You just got two sentences. Don't come up with me, I'm just don't, saying. You just don't got two sentences. You can't tell nobody to be quiet. Don't, I'm just, I'm listening to be quiet. Be quiet. Y'all call me. And be quiet. Say anything y'all else y'all need for me because I'm about to go to bed. With no, my man. Because if we start talking about when you're not going to be quiet. If we start talking about when you're not going to be quiet. I can't mute them. There ain't no way to mute them. Okay, let's believe that. Best believe that. I can't mute them. What y'all saying? <laughs> I will. Well, okay, y'all. The show is back is it back on. on? Yes. It's back it's on. on. Y'all don't say. Ain't no shit about me when I'm not around. People gotta call me up and tell me. Shut up, girl. Do that all day, every day. Girl, shut up. Just shut up, you girl. Girl, okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. just okay. saying. Shut up. What do you say? Talk about the vibe. Why you be able to back it up? Because you don't call no one that's not around. You talk dog shit about. I'm, I'm afraid for you. I have some children. I'm gonna be forced to get up. I hope you're getting out of here. Are you pregnant now? That's why you upset, or you going through menopause? Which no, you, you must be going through menopause. You ain't the only thing. Or you got to be on the POS with that hair on the chest. Understand. Understand. Okay, so, so we're on a commercial break. Let's go. Oh, we are on a commercial break. Let's talk about on the show. Can we just talk one at a time? Toya, I'm really proud of you and your wine. You're doing a great Thank job. You. Girl, you're doing good, and you look good, too. I should have put something on, but I... I just I came on in right quick. I don't, I'm telling you, I ain't got nothing on my little skims. Well, let me it. see. Let me see. Let me see. That's it. Let, let, let me see. Let, let me see. 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 Let me you in the bathroom? Oh, yep. Emily, what's this? You got out the bathtub. Actually, I came out the bathtub and came on in Emily, here with y'all. really offend you when she called you grandma? I don't give a fuck about that girl. Listen, she look like a grandmama. She act like a grandmama. She dressed like a grandmama. And she 32. When I was 32, I was smart. I was already together. I had girl, dated we, my first man. You, you lost my first man. Girl, you yeah, got okay, to yeah. Them. You're 20 years you're, younger, you're, but, you're, but you're, you're 50, still 40 years behind. You're 55, and you're, you're on the same years platform behind. as me. You're 20 oh, years okay. behind. Okay. You're 55 on the same platform. How old is your mom? So, how old is your mom? Please. Like I how said, you trying to compete. 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 Because ain't nobody got my mom about the same age. Maybe grab you. I don't have to compare myself to you, baby. That'll be looking better. I don't. Are you delusional? And maybe show. Greg would be better fit for so her Emily, mother. You didn't watch her. Well, dude, maybe <laughs> Damon will be better fit for my friend. Okay, well, and have it. Let, let's see if you should get a call to Damon so you get your man. Because I have to snap the hump of her friend. Understand that. Let's okay, see. but look. Okay. But look. Let's see. Bring him to the reunion. And put him in the room together and see what happens. Yes, who told her? There's so much shit you don't know. Yes, who told her? You really don't want to do this with me before. Okay, okay, y'all. I want to be on your yeah. mind. Your okay. man. What did I lie about? Man, your man ain't talking to quiet. I didn't say not at this moment, but he has. I don't okay. be lying. Are we okay? You don't okay. want to do okay. this with me, sweet tea. We don't want to talk about insecurities, boo. Girl, you, don't you better hope that insecurities, boo. You better hope you don't want to talk about your marriage. You better hope that she don't come back. You better hope so. Best believe that.
Yeah, yeah. Not, what I lied girl, about. Please. You, okay, so guys, yeah. yeah. that what you make. We're going to end the live about. because it's got a little Toy, too I'm, heated. I'm so gonna be there. Yeah, I ain't doing my question. So what I'm lying about now? Oh, you lied about every fucking thing. What am I lying about? Toya. Okay, what am I lying about? Okay, okay, Toya. I already told you, I don't be lying. I tell the truth. You do be lying. That's the problem. Y'all don't like it. Okay, what have I lied about? 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 You can't even. You told lies about my endometriosis. You did that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Lying to oh my God! I before, I am being tested to end the process. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. We have to go to the hospital. Okay. Wow. That was definitely a lot. That was definitely a lot. Looks like Sweet Tea is very, very mad at Heavenly for all the things that have been happening. I think she's mad at all the interviews that she's been doing with Carlos King and the recaps that they do. I think that's understandable. What I will say is that I'm going to defend Sweet Tea for, um, this, for this situation because I had a different reaction when I first saw the live. But then I saw it again once I watched the episode, which I said we're, we're going to talk about tomorrow. So in the episode, Sweet Tea finds out some devastating news that her fertility journey is going to be a little bit more difficult because of something that they detected. So I thought it was incredibly insensitive and very cruel for Dr. Heavenly to say, I can have kids and I have three kids. And if you notice, she kept saying that over and over again. And just as another woman, I would think that she would have a little bit more grace and not go so low. And just, I, I thought it was a lot. And I found it rich how she wanted to talk about her mom is dead. But then she also talks about someone else's mom in the same breath. Because I saw some people on social media where, oh, how dare Sweet Tea talk about her mom who has passed away. Well, if that's the case, then Heavenly shouldn't be talking about anyone else's mother either. I think that the thing with Sweet Tea is that we all know that Heavenly goes low. I love her. She's funny. But she does go low. And I think that Sweet Tea is the one that wants to kind of meet her there and that's clearly getting under heavenly skin which is why they had this fight so i can't wait to see what's going to go down in the reunion because y'all heard she said she's going to bring some receipts and she said maybe damon should date one of my friends since heavenly said that um her husband greg should have married her mom you see i'm talking about the moms bringing brought up but yeah it's not cool I did find it interesting that Heavenly said that Greg was talking to Quad and that he could get her. I, I don't think she meant that. I think she was just trying to hurt Sweet Tea in the moment because, I mean, it was an argument. I don't think for one second Greg wants Quad or Quad wants Greg. So I think she was just talking about that. But yeah, you guys, really interesting live. It was crazy. But again, looks like somebody must have told Phaedra to cut it because the thing is, there's always someone from Bravo, some some executive or some producer who is watching Phaedra's lives to make sure that they don't end up like this. The thing is, they don't mind them going at it, but they don't want them to do it on a platform that's not Bravo. So they want them to save everything for the reunion. And it makes sense. Actually, I'm surprised that they're even allowing Phaedra to do these lives in the first place but yeah you guys i was dying to, uh, of laughter seeing phaedra's reactions and her faces that she was making but it was a lot so i want to ask you guys what did y'all think about it whose side are you on and what were your overall thoughts let me know in the comments please don't forget to like and subscribe i'll catch y'all tomorrow for a married to medicine recap until the next one y'all have a great one bye